Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeremy. This is Jones Edition. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today I am working on a hoist system for my hardtop on the Jeep. I'm going to try to put it back here um, kind of high up on the roof. I want to be able to still walk underneath it and just kind of hoist it up that way. So it's kind of cool. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to get everything set up and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Now I got the the motor hooked up to the wireless box, which goes to the power. Um, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. The battery should be fully charged, so I don't have to worry about it for a little bit. You know, I'm only going to use this like once or twice a year. Um, I might be able to even disconnect this, bring it down, and then when I want to use it, bring it up, um, kind of thing. It won't be that big of a deal. But I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it. Um, right now but uh, I'm gonna test out here in just a second all right this is the wireless remote that goes to the um, the winch so you just kind of power it on just hold it in we'll, um, I think it means it's connected so uh, oh yeah it's working so uh, I don't want I don't want it to suck up in there so Seems like it's working pretty good. Um, right now I'm gonna put the hook back on and then um, I'm gonna get some straps. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use the straps on the Jeep top. I, you know, it's gonna be sitting over the summertime and I don't want some wear marks and stuff like that. Uh, sorry for the background, the kids are out here playing with me. So I'm just not sure exactly how I'm gonna set the straps up yet. I have four straps that I used in my shed for the hard top before I actually put it on the Jeep. And um, so we'll uh, we'll get doing the hook here next, and then we'll go with straps after that. We got all the straps on it's all trial and error so I'm not sure what's gonna happen I can't get my Jeep all the way back against the wall um, so there's gonna be a little bit of a lift and swing so I'm gonna try to hold it guide it I got the two hooks up front unlatched all six of my bolts in the back undone let's give it a shot we'll see what happens here and uh, hopefully it doesn't swing too much
no, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Go down some more. Up, the up, up. Stop. Stop. All right, it is the next day. Uh, we just cleaned out the storage unit, so stay tuned for that video. I uh, wanted to finish this video um, on a little bit better terms than where I ended it, um, as you just saw. I had a little bit of trouble with the straps slipping off, and I I was a little nervous that I actually broke uh, something on the hard type. You know, if you have one of these, they're not the most stable... Um, you know piece of equipment so it's you know it's plastic fiberglass glass it's not made to be thrown around very well so uh, with that slip I was a little nervous that I broke something on the uh, passenger side but it's all good I do have a little bit of um, some scuffs here um, along the edges but I already had a few scuffs as I learned how to take this off kind of by myself you know uh, my wife can't really lift this with me too much very well and I don't always have someone here to help me lift so this is actually going to be really nice um, once I get a, a system down. Um, I was really particular about the hole I was trying to cut. Let me flip your eye. But uh, with, so I can't get the Jeep far enough back so when I lift it. So what happens is it, it wants to pull a little bit. And you can see where the, the cable kind of tracked through the, through the drywall there. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of an issue with... Um, some destroyed drywall uh, I might just end up cutting a hole um, to make it fit a little bit better but uh, let me get my step ladder here all right so you can tell there's a, a good bit of slack here and you can tell there's probably like five or six inches here and there's another three to four inches there which causes it to be like a foot or so um, away from the ceiling which I don't want because I wanted to be able to walk under here, and as you can tell, I can't. You know, I'm, I'm going to hit my head um, on it here. So, there's room up here for me to be able to walk if I can design it properly. So, I'm, I'm going to work on this right now. This is not a finished product. Uh, this is just kind of showing the startup of it. I might do a follow-up video up later, just kind of doing um, a revised version of this um, hoist system. My plan is to build some type of wood device with foam backing to rest on top of the Jeep, then have the straps connect to it through eye bolts, and then that hook up top connect to an eye bolt right in the middle of the of the wood the wood structure, almost like a like a T frame or like a little H frame um, style where the the, the straps kind of go underneath and attach to the eye bolts, and then one eye bolt creates there's no slack. It just kind of holds it nice and tight to the ceiling. That's what I'm going to do. Also, also I need to move the Jeep top back like six to seven or eight in inches possibly um, because I'm interfering with my attic ladder. There's a little bit of scuffing here from the ladder already where it rubbed. Um, so I'm going to drill a new hole about eight inches back and then put up another pulley system up there um, to kind of, I'm not going to remount that. I'm just going to drag it out a little farther and drop it down, which should cause it to uh, to swing back here and get a little tighter to the wall because all this right here is this wasted space. And then if I can get it higher, I'll be able to use the space a little bit better under here. I'm planning on doing some type of like cubby system for the kids. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's not perfect, but uh, it's a start. So I'm going to end this video here, and uh, hope, hopefully you guys like something like this here. Uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up, and then I'll make a revised version of this later when it's uh, not so hot out, and I have the materials built, and I'll do a part two uh, down the road. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you 